start with the uh, ultrasonic testing. Uh, so ultrasonic testing means uh, uh, we have to transmit ultrasonic sound waves inside the test specimen. So what is ultrasonic sound waves? So ultrasonic sound waves are those sound waves which is having a frequency of higher range. So basically you can divide a sound wave into uh, three uh, depending on, upon its frequency. That is the first one is intrasonic, second is sonic and the third is ultrasonic sound waves. So the intrasonic sound waves will be having a frequency range from 0 to 16 hertz and uh, sonic or subsonic sound waves will be having a frequency ranging from 16 hertz to uh, 20 kilohertz and the last one is ultrasonic sound waves. Ultrasonic sound waves will be having a frequency higher than 20 kilohertz to 25 megahertz. Okay. And uh, you can see some of the natural use of ultrasonic sound waves. Uh, naturally, you can see that uh, bats uh, bats use this ultrasonic sound waves uh, for the uh, in order to find their prey and all. And you can see some other animals like dolphins also. And uh, and uh, for the uh, coming for the human use, uh, you can see uh, this uh, ships ships and dolphins like uh, while traveling and see uh, like uh, uh, on the on the way on the direction of the on the direction of travel. If you want to find uh, if there is any obstacle present over the Okay, so you have to use this ultrasonic. You can use ultrasonic sound waves over there. So these are some of the applications of ultrasonic sound waves. Okay, and also in order to uh, find uh, the total depth of the sea, and also uh, so you can use this uh, particular ultrasonic sound waves. So we have discussed just now about the natural and also artificial or human use of uh, ultrasonic sound waves. And uh, the next thing we will say, uh, we will discuss about is uh, how we will transmit this ultrasonic sound waves into any kind of specimen. Uh, so basically we will use an instrument called as a transducer or probe. So this is the name of the instrument which we use in order to transmit any kind of uh, ultrasonic uh, sound waves or any uh, ultrasonic sound waves which is having any kind of frequency into your test specimen. And uh, the major component inside your probe is uh, a crystal. Crystal is also called as a piezoelectric crystal. And the major property, or the major property of a piezoelectric crystal is uh, uh, it is able to convert any incoming electric energy into a mechanical energy, and also vice versa, which means uh, uh, it can convert also a mechanical energy into uh, an electric energy. So over here. Uh, we actually convert electric energy into mechanical energy and the converted mechanical energy over here is actually the sound waves. Okay. Uh, so next I am going to uh, tell about the major principle of ultrasonic testing. Uh, so that means, uh, so under this principle we will study the uh, other topics. So this is the major principle you have to know. So suppose if I am standing in this room and uh, you people are actually standing on the other classroom and actually I am under a sealed classroom so there is no way for any kind of sound is to go outside so it is totally sealed I am actually totally sealed in this room and you people are actually sitting on the other classroom so if I say something maybe you people can hear me so th that's what I am asking so if I make any sound from this classroom, uh, so will you people who is sitting on the next classroom, will you people able to hear it? So the answer is actually no. You people can't hear me. So the major reason behind that is that uh, my sound wave actually travels. So actually I am sitting, so this is me. And uh, so let us consider this as a steel beam or any kind of wall. Let us take as a steel beam, and you people are actually over here, and this is actually uh, a steel classroom. So if I make a sound wave, so that actually the sound wave actually travels and hits on this uh, particular steam beam. So what happens right now is actually the sound wave just reflects back. So my question is, why does it reflect back from this interface? Okay. Uh, so the major reason behind that is. Let us take the velocity of our sound wave through air is equal to an unknown value x. Let us take this x right now. 
okay and let's see velocity of the sound wave through the steel is equal to y okay so the sound wave actually travels at a velocity of and not the point the velocity of the sound wave through any medium is actually constant it doesn't change at all so over here the sound wave actually travels with a velocity of x from here to here and when it touches on the steel steel interface it comes to know that the velocity inside the steel is actually entirely different it's actually y once it comes to know that the velocity has been changed the sound wave just reflects back from that steel interface so the major principle what i'm trying to say is that the sound wave just reflects from any interface when the velocity is different okay so so what uh, so that that's a major principle and always sound wave requires a medium to travel and the medium and why i talk and why any people in front of me can hear me is because there is a medium in between me and them and the medium in between me and them is actually air medium okay. and why we can't hear any talk why we can't uh, make a sound when you go out of earth why anyone can't hear me or hear anyone when you go out of space is actually because there is no medium over there which is called as a vacuum okay so that's a major principle in uti okay so next we will continue with the uh, next session